Hey, it's Cliff, and I got a request to show you guys how to buy NFTs off the Cellogenic NFT marketplace. I want to start this off by showing you an article that has to do with OpenSea. Now, if you're not familiar with OpenSea, it is probably the number one NFT marketplace in existence, and it boggles my brain why, because OpenSea is not necessarily a decentralized platform. And as we can see here, they were recently hacked, which really what happened, there was a phishing scam that went around and ultimately people signed into this phishing scam that went to their email and $1.7 million was lost from OpenSea. Now this scam was just a simple email that said that OpenSea was going to free up gas fees for a certain time and people fell for it so what i want to point out here is Sologenic is for the most part it's pretty much without fees there's a very small fee but it's not something that you're going to miss not only that it is decentralized so basically what i mean by that i have a tweet here from one of the co-creators of Sologenic, uh nft marketplace and it says this is one of the thousands of reasons why being fully decentralized is the key. A phishing attack could never happen on a decentralized platform that doesn't collect users' email addresses, which is correct. Sologenic set up a marketplace that you don't necessarily have an account. It goes from your wallet, which deals with a lot of private keys, which only you will have possession of, so you can't necessarily be duped in the same way that you would be duped on an open C platform and you don't need to be promised that fees aren't there because it's like i said it pretty much doesn't have fees but anyway let's kind of get into the video here so what i have here is the sologenic marketplace you can see there's all kinds of nfts here this is typically what you're going to do you're going to go around and browse and kind of see the nfts that you would want to get now, just for this video, I'm gonna go to all NFTs and I'm going to search by the lowest <laughs> price first because I'm not really here to buy an NFT. I'm just here to show you how to do it. So we're gonna go with this uh, car here. Looks like it's for five XRP. And this is really simple to do. You're just gonna walk down here and you're gonna hit buy NFT this is going to tell you that this isn't a verified NFT for a certain collection, but I don't care because this is just for demonstration's sake. Whoever uh, in or knee golf boys is, I'm going to be hooking him up and giving him some XRP. So good for him. So anyway, I'm just going to click that I acknowledge that and confirm checkout. So what this does, you bring up this is going to send you a transaction here you just click on that transaction and it's going to give you all the information here obviously it's 5 xrp and there is a fee towards the bottom that you can see there but it's 0 0.01 xrp which is like nothing and then you're just going to hit sign and it's going to ask you to enter your password which i'm going to do here Hit confirm. And then you're going to see that it was successful. So then you hit done. And then you should see another transaction come up. Right now it's just trying to register that I submitted this price to him. It's verifying everything. And as soon as it verifies the transaction, it simply becomes yours. So now you can see that this NFT was sold to me here. Origin was knee collections and it went to me for five XRP. It's really that simple guys. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. You sign a couple transactions and you have a new NFT. But of course, like anything in technology, me showing this to you is going to look simple, but when you go through the process of doing it, there's going to be some errors and complications and all those things. Isn't, it's not going to work right. So 
of course like always i want you to comment those issues down below and i will be in the comment sections to help you through it and not only myself i've been noticing that a lot of people that have subscribed to this channel are jumping in to help people as well so that's something that i definitely love to see so so yeah just if you have issues comment down below and thank you for watching